I know how to love you. Wait, wait, what? I know how to do it to you. Ugh. Do what to me? I know how to make you feel the way you want to feel. Stop! Because I can't lose with what I use. Alright, I'm in. Hey everybody, welcome back to Freeze First Time, where we document my whiskey journey from the beginning to the 100 year old end. Because we all know we all want to be able to document our first times. Like, as a guy, remember the first time you ever saw the female form? What? What kind of cutaway were you expecting, you perv? But was it an airplane? I bet it was an airplane, wasn't it? And after that beautifully Barry White inspired intro, here we go into our next bottle. We are told that it is an advanced dram and not for the beginner palate, but I've never been one to not jump straight into the deep end, so here we go. This is a, an expression from the Talisker Distillery from the Isle of Skye. Um, the Isle of Skye, there is one distributing distillery on that island, and it is Talisker. There is another one um, called Torbeg, and they have began their distillation process in December of 2017 and to be a scotch it must be at least three years old so they will have their first distribution in January of next year cannot wait it's a very small distillery they only have two stills but anyway I've digressed now I first heard of this distillery by watching a whiskey vault episode where Mr. Whittington just randomly in passing said this is why Talisker is one of my favorite distilleries and I just immediately got on my phone ordered a bottle because I'm in China and I can't exactly go to the store and pick one up. And a couple weeks later, the Talisker 10 came to my door and it was lovely. I very much enjoyed it and it was, it was so complex for me as a new guy. And because every single time, as I mentioned previously, every single time I opened that bottle, it seemed to have morphed into something else. Like the little bit of oxygen that goes in after each time you pop that cork just kind of morphs the liquid into something very different. I know it does anyway, but this time it seemed far more drastic than I was used to in a very good way. Very surprising and adding a little bit of water just calmed it down, but also just amplified certain things. And it was a really cool thing to experience, I must be honest. So, after experiencing the Talisker 10, I thought it was a bit of a no-brainer not to try more things from this distillery because I was so impressed by uh, the first bottle purchase that I just, I, I wanted to try more. So here we are. Now, as opposed to Talisker 10, this Talisker Storm is a non-age statement whiskey or a non-AS whiskey, which means there is not a discernible age to this whiskey. I know it's, it's, from what I've read, it's between 3 and 25 years old. So, when you see a whiskey that has an age statement on it, like the video before of when I drank the Lagavulin 16, it's obviously 16 years old, so people think. Now, the 16 years is the statement of the youngest whiskey in the bottle. So, that means it could have 25-year-old, 30-year-old whiskey in there. Does it? I don't know, maybe. But the youngest whiskey in that bottle is 16 years old. So, like I said, this is a non-age statement whiskey, but like its 10-year-old brother, it is a single malt. What does it mean to be a single malt? Well, it's very, very simple. Some people think it's a far more complicated than it needs to be, but all single malt means is that it comes from a single distillery and that it was made from malted barley. That's it. What's malted barley? Malted barley is barley that has been coerced into sprouting a little bit. That's it. That is it. I was very surprised when I learned that. Very cool stuff. So, the Talisker 10 is an obvious age statement whiskey, and this one, the Talisker Storm, is a non-age statement whiskey. And that doesn't make a big, big difference, really. People often connotate old whiskeys with better whiskeys, which isn't always the case. Old just means it was obviously sitting in the cask or the barrel for a longer period of time, so it increases complexity. It may be rounded out the edges a little bit, and just changed it. Doesn't always mean for the better. Maybe you've never heard of Talisker before. Maybe you have. 
But I have noticed it in the TV show Billions. It is M's whiskey of choice in the James Bond movies. And uh, Robert Louis Stevenson once said that it is the king of drinks. So, without further ado, let's get it open. All right. Now, let's open this baby up. Now this, just like the Lagavulin, this has been sitting on my shelf for at least a month. Just eyeballing me, hence the, the sexy eyeing intro. So, now let's open this bottle up. Now, first initial impressions. That is ugly as shit. I don't think they spend a whole lot of time working on this label. And I kind of tell you, I'm not too big of a fan of it. I do dig the Lion insignia there on the side, but other than that, it just looks like it was thrown to bed, thrown together, and uh, I don't know, doesn't do it for me. The 10, the label was beautiful, it was classic, <clears throat> it felt regal, almost, and it was just a beautiful thing. This one, not so much, but what's in a label? Alright, where are you, Tab? There you are, come on you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. First go, Talisker Storm. Come here, you. Get in there. All right. It's a beautiful color. Looks like apple juice. All right. Let's see how it is on the whiff. Oh. Huh. That's funny. I said it looked like apple juice, and the first thing that went into my head was on the whiff was apple cider vinegar. Maybe it's the power of suggestion, who knows, but let's go, go for another whiff. Smoke. Cedar. It's not as strong on the whiff as the 10 was. I expected a lot more. But it is smokier, but I, 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 uh, and I like that. Smokier in a better way. All right, let's taste it. Gambay. Ooh. The alcohol taste is right, right in your face at the beginning, but it mellows out really, really quickly. Just like the 10, it's, it's quite salty, um, which that is good for me because I, I, I dig that kind of thing and I'm into it. But it's very smoky, but the finish, wow, the finish is very brief. It was there, it's like, hey, let's, let's party. We got some smoke, we got some wood, we got some salt. All right, see you later, bye. And then it kind of disappeared. I mean, there's still remnants, of course. Apologize, my neighbors are a bit loud. And, but other than that, I kind of like the 10 better, if I'm completely honest. Let's try it again, though. I gotta at least try it twice. Iodiney, salty, smoky, woody. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. Now, I think, just like his brother, the 10-year-old, I do think it's going to open up and, and taste a little bit better with a little bit of water. So let's see, see how we do. Drip, 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 drip. Give it a moment. Mmm. Ah, licorice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that water really dissipated the alcohol strength. And now I'm smelling licorice, I'm smelling some grapes, like some dark fruits. I want to say leather. But like shoe leather, not jacket leather. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right, let's give it a, give it a taste. So on, on the whiff. It has changed. You know, I, I, uh, it's, it's a cool thing. Mm. Ah, sweet! Wow! It's super sweet now. It's still salty there towards the end, and it does last a little longer, oddly enough. It's still there on the tongue. The length has increased. That's nice. Yeah, it's really sweet up front. 
The alcohol, like, burn has mellowed out, which is great. Oh, man, yeah, that's, that's great. But again, I, I'm going steer to towards, steer towards the 10. Anywho, so, if you were to ask me, Freed, would you buy this bottle again? My answer would be, I don't know. It's way too early to tell. If it's anything like his 10-year-old brother, it's going to evolve. It's going to morph. It's going to just change into something else that's very different than what it is right now. Maybe not. If it doesn't, yeah, go ahead and buy it. It doesn't hurt to try different expressions from different distilleries to find out what you like, I'm learning. You gotta hone it in. You can't just drink everything, or can you? But, if I had to pick, put a gun to my head, between the 10 and the storm, I'm going with the 10. Because I just enjoyed it a lot more, it was far more complex for me, and and that's what, I was, that's what I'm looking for at this point in my whiskey journey. So yeah, between this and the 10-year-old, I would choose the 10-year-old, but time will tell. Uh, I know adding a little bit of water to this massively increased the palatability and the, the benefit and just the enjoyability of this whole thing for me. Of course, everyone's going to be different. Tastes are subjective. So I strongly suggest give it a try. What's it going to hurt? And I got to tell you, upon further trying on this, <laughs> I can't stop thinking of Al Green, listening to an Al Green song. And first of all, if you've never listened to an Al Green song, I'm sure you have, you just didn't realize you had. I've put links in the description there. I'll wait, pause this video, click on those links, listen to some Al Green songs, please. Do yourself a favor. But my point being, is that oftentimes Al Green has a nice, smooth, tenor voice, and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. But sometimes he'll just kick in with this high-pitched, like, and it comes out of nowhere, and it's a, just a really cool thing. And I can't, this whiskey does that. It will come in with a nice, smooth, low-body thing, and then towards the end, we'll just like, woo, and then disappear. And it's a really cool thing. It's fun to compare. All right, thus concludes the Talisker Storm review and tasting for the first time. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I'm going to have a couple more of these babies just for fun, just to stick it home. So yeah, again, thanks for stopping by. Remember, keep your drams full, your palate clean, and never, ever, ever skip out green. All right, see you next time. No, next time we will be trying the Jura Origins. Jura is a island even smaller than the Isle of Skye with more deer than people. The origins uh, expression is what we're going to be trying. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Take it easy.